I'm Dr. Kirby Runyon with the Planetary Science Institute, and my science colleagues and I just did research on this airplane, Zero G's G Force One. Our paper just came out last week in the Planetary Science Journal, and it's called Methods for Experimental Planetary Geology in Reduced Gravity Parabolic Flight, a Case Study of Researching Impact Crater Ejecta. That's a mouthful, but what we're studying is how a reduction in gravity, like on Mars, or the moon, and maybe even weightlessness, like is close to the situation for asteroids, how those low gravity fields affect the emplacement of stuff that gets dug out of impact craters. When a meteoroid hits the moon or Mars, it digs a big hole in the ground, and all of that rocky and dirty debris gets thrown out, it's called ejecta, and then it lands on the planetary landscape, and it slides along, and it erodes, and it scours that surface. And we were curious, well, what happens if you turn down gravity? Normally in the laboratory, we can't do that. But on G-Force 1, we can. See, this airplane flies a series of curves or arcs in the sky called parabolas. And every time it goes over a parabolic arc like that, you get reduced gravity. And that lasts for between 20 and 30 seconds. For Mars gravity, 38% the gravity of Earth, that's a very broad parabola, a very broad a curve. For zero gravity, it's a much more uh, sharp curve, and for lunar gravity, that's for somewhere in between. And uh, we would use different colored chalk on a catapult, and we would fling that colored chalk to simulate the ejecta that gets tossed out of a crater. And when we go through and we analyze the data from all of our GoPro cameras that we had set up around the airplane, watching it and everything, we are able to simulate what we think happens on other planetary surfaces. So you can go read our paper for free in the Planetary Science Journal. And of course, a huge shout out to my friends at Zero-G for making this kind of research possible. Thanks.